GoPro Labs includes some experimental features that originally came from GoPro internal hackathons, but they weren't assigned officially to any camera releases. In the past, they have been available to some GoPro cameras, but not the Max. That has now changed, and GoPro has allowed the Max access to some of these experimental features, which include burnt-in overlays, altered file naming, and motion detecting, and lots more. So let's get straight to it and take a look. The first thing you need to do is download and install the lab's firmware to your GoPro Max. As well as telling you briefly here, I'll also leave instructions in the description below. But basically you need to go to gopro.com forward slash labs. This will take you to a community page where you click on get started. You are then taken to instructions and a download page where you can select the GoPro Max. Once you've downloaded the zip file, unzip it and then drag the update folder to your micro SD card. Now place the SD card back in your GoPro Max and the lab's firmware will upload. All of the experimental features are set and programmed via a QR code. And a QR code looks like this. And a QR code is basically a list of functions and commands that are transferred into this QR code image. And your camera can then look at the image and immediately interpret the instructions embedded within the image. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of QR code variations I could show you, but I'm gonna quickly show you just a few, including motion detecting. And then you can go off and experiment yourself. To create a QR code, you can go to this web address or you can download the GoPro QR control app. Using these two options, you can select different boxes which generate the code and then you show the QR code to your camera and the camera settings will change automatically. And for quick access, you can screenshot all of the QR codes that you generate so you can easily access them later. So for example, with this QR code here, I'll select time lapse, wide, interval 0.5 seconds, resolution 1080, pro tunes, GoPro color, and white balance 4500. And you'll notice every time I adjusted a setting, the QR code updates and changes. I then show the camera this QR code image and it changes the settings automatically. Next, if you go to learn more at the bottom of the page, you'll find further features you can unlock by inputting information to create more QR codes. So if we click on this one, which is owner information, and we fill this in. I then turn my camera on and show the camera the QR code and that's it. And this particular one sets a username and number that flashes up on the screen for one second when you turn your GoPro on. And this is handy if you ever lose your GoPro and someone nice finds it and they want to return it. The next one we take a look at is motion detection. So if we select that, there are various options that we can adjust, but we just leave everything where it is for now. Show the camera the QR code, and now the camera is set to record when it senses movement. And you have to set the record mode itself manually, so hero mode or 360 mode, etc. So this is just a quick demonstration. I've shown the camera the QR code, and then I immediately put it down somewhere solid. And it gives me a few seconds to do this. And then as soon as I move, the camera starts recording. For non-creative use such as a dash cam or for security footage, you also have this option where you can burn in information permanently in the image. So there are lots of variables here you can change such as the date, the time and location etc. And then you just show the QR code to your camera. The file length on the GoPro Max is currently set to 4GB. So once you've shot 4GB of footage it will then create a new file. We're using these experimental features and the QR code you can unlock up to 12GB of shooting in one single chapter. So one file that's 12GB long. To do this, you have to use a memory card that's 64 gigabytes or above. And if your GoPro Max is part of a multi-camera setup, using these experimental features, you can also change the file name of your clips. So you can call it Camera 1, Camera 2, etc. I've shown you just a fraction of what is available with these experimental features. And within each feature, there are so many variations and options you can choose from. And please read all of the information listed with each feature so you can be told specifically what can and can't be done with each one. Please share your experience of using GoPro Labs in the comments below because it'd be really helpful to everyone that watches this video. For more GoPro Max videos, you can watch these two videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.